Stay tuned after this brief message from Airbus Helicopters. Shebel's S-100 camcopter is emerging as an increasingly versatile unmanned platform that can be used for a variety of surveillance and reconnaissance roles in both the civilian and military domains. Most recently, Dutch authorities successfully demonstrated the rotorcraft's use for a new airborne detect and avoid system being developed with Coast Guard duties in mind. Today we have 20 plus different sensors that allow us to look for submarines, allow us to drop sonar boys, allow us to look for uh, anomalies in terms of different uh, magnetic fields. We can use uh, LIDARs that allow us to do very accurate ground mapping. Um, we've flown other sensors like hyperspectral that allow us to determine materials associated with imagery. And so today we've moved everything from the standard military commercial operating environment all the way through to standard commercial geological surveys, mapping, support to infrastructure inspections all over the world. The S-100 can carry a variety of sensors with a total payload of 50 kilograms, and these can be easily fitted and changed out in a variety of positions on the aircraft. But much of the UAV's versatility is based on the vertical lift capability. So we don't have a requirement for any particular infrastructure on the ground, we just need a very small clear area. So another key advantage is we can operate from austere sites where there's no infrastructure available. We can actually operate the whole system with a maximum of three people. The origins of the camcopter go back to the early 1990s when the Austrian company was looking for new ways to fulfill its core mission of detecting landmines. The way you find landmines today predominantly still with handheld sensors which you move above the ground. And at some point in time, I tried to find landmines from the air and for that purpose I needed an airborne platform that can hover above the ground. So we started working with autonomously flying helicopters in the early 1990s already. Unfortunately, we have not any sensors until today that reliably can find landmines in the ground. But over time, we found a lot of other applications for this product, starting in the civilian domain with uh, infrastructure surveillance, all kind of inspections, in the military world, obviously, there's always a need to look behind the horizon. In particular, at sea, this product is able to land automatically at ships at high sea states. So, yes, there's a lot of demand for it, and, uh, but we keep tinkering with finding landmines. The aircraft has been demonstrated and used in a variety of applications, including trials with several navies. Last year, it was used to help locate and rescue refugees fleeing Syria across the Mediterranean Sea. The one thing that I've learned about unmanned systems, it's all about reliability, it's all about maintainability. And so the one thing that, that this system has above everything else is we have operated on every environment that's currently on the available from the high Arctic all the way down to the deserts and the mountains. And every one of those environments creates a different set of challenges that you need to understand in order to deliver a mature, reliable product. There's no fast, easy way to maturity. You've got to have deployed it all over the world. You've got to have tested it and tested it thoroughly. And you've got to be able to use you know, a whole different range of sensors in those environments to really make certain you have a mature, capable, cost-effective product. 